Hello, ghost hunters. How is everyone enjoying the new ghost types? Now that you've had time to hunt the new ghost and see the changes in the game, a few things got polished up this week. Stay tuned to see what's changed. First, the footsteps. An interesting change came to the ghost footsteps. They now have different sounds depending on what the ghost is walking on, similar to players. This in theory sounds like an awesome change. This means that while you are cowering in fear in a closet or a locker, or maybe behind a pile of boxes, you can hear exactly where the ghost is based on the type of sounds from the ghost footsteps. This should help players with a couple of things. Ideally, it should make tracking the movements of the ghost easier. In addition to this, observant ghost hunters may be able to use this to tell if ghosts are fast or slow without visually seeing them. Initially, this may cause some confusion for ghost hunters, as ghosts won't make footstep sounds when they aren't moving. This includes the beginning of a hunt during the grace period, but knowing that this change is part of the game might just save your bacon. If you can hear the footsteps during a hunt, the grace period is over and the ghost is actively hunting. The other changes were specific to two of the new ghost types. The Thie ghost will now answer questions correctly, which makes me wonder, was this ghost a liar before? If you saw instances of this, let me know about them in the comments. As for the Diogen, changes were made to its weakness description to stop some confusion. Based on developer comments, it appears that they did not want to mislead players into thinking that line of sight was the reason for the ghost's behavior. Based on the comments from developers and experiences from players, it seems as if the Diogen ignores line of sight completely and rather focuses on distance from their intended target. It's unclear if this ghost will swap targets, but it seems unlikely. As long as the focus player stays near the ghost, it should remain slow. As for those crazy quick speedups around furniture, the Diogen's speed changes have also been adjusted so that they're smoother. One final small quality of life change made this week, non-VR players will no longer accidentally light smudge sticks when holding a candle or a lighter. If you watch my daily shorts, then you probably saw that I include this in a video this past week. While this doesn't happen often, it obviously happens enough that developers decided to prevent this from happening in future games. Maybe there are some griefing complaints behind this. If you know more about what led to this change, let me know in the comments. Also, I wanted to point out one feature that I think a lot of people missed in the main update. We know that the voice recognition system was changed, but with that came some features to help those of you with a lot of noise in your background. These options for noise suppression and activation sensitivity are only available from the journal. In other words, you must be in a game before you'll be able to access and adjust these settings. At least for now, they cannot be found in the menu options. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting.